It didn't seem that long after falling asleep until my alarm clock started ringing. What time is it? Five o'clock in the morning. Bloody early. Police camera action. We hit the road just after 5 a.m. Flashing lights everywhere. Here's where we are on the map of Australia, just to give you an idea. And here's the road we took to get to the launching spot that morning. We just took a photo of it coming into town as it came into town. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, Check it out. See, he's got to go around that. He's got around that island. <coughs> See, yeah. island there. Oh, sorry. It was a beautiful Queensland winter's morning. Yeah, the magpies are up early. Just turning off the main street into Wanton. I was lucky. I got to ride with the driver that day. That's where she's going to be launched. Here's another map view with our path through to Wanton to the launching spot. This was the last leg. Leon! He's up your man now. The timing was perfect. The sun had just risen. It was frosty. Twenty minutes to seven. How's Tim feel at this moment? Very, very happy, I'd say. Extremely happy. Everybody's rugged up. He used a crane to load the mast onto the truck. We didn't need one to get it off. People seem to appear from everywhere. I'd rigged the mast ready to go straight onto the boat as soon as the boat had been put in the water. While well, we had the crane there, it was the perfect time to use him to put the mast on. Rudders are ready to go in. We just needed to wait until we lifted the boat before we could put the rudders in. What well, do you want a knife, Tim, or something? The old man was looking for a knife.
Everything happened pretty quick. We only used two slings to lift the boat. We just had to position the slings under the bulkheads. But there wasn't a lot of weight he was lifting. He had scales on the crane. With the engines and no mast, it weighed in at two and a half tonnes. There was a lot of pre-planning went into the launch. Cranes are expensive, so I wanted everything to go smoothly. See the rudders in there, who's inside securing them. The guy in black was our family doctor on his way to work. Yeah, Mark. Hi, mate. Yeah, I'm launched with Buddy Tinny. How long is this going to be? I had the tillers for the rudders all prepared and in place, ready to pop on and tighten up real quick. Now was the moment of truth. After all those years of building, Water off the bank here is really shallow. In fact, it was so shallow the rudders were touching. The crane was at his maximum reach, he couldn't go any further. We had to get the weight forward. So, with the two of us and a few other people hanging off the forebeam to push the nose down, everybody gave it a big shove and he dropped it into the water at the same time. I never noticed it until I was editing this film, but as the slings went loose, the kookaburra started laughing. So here she was, in the water. And in good timing too. But it wasn't time to stop yet. Now it was time to get the mast on. I wasn't going to hold the crane up by fiddling around trying to attach the permanent metal shrouds and even though I double checked and triple checked my calculations for the length of the shrouds I didn't want any hold ups if they didn't fit so I rigged four ropes on the mast to go to each corner of the boat to hold the mast up so I could let the crane go and finish off the proper installation later Here's a close-up of the step for the mast the day before. Join us for the christening and to see her underway in the water. Just click on the link to the next video.
and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified when there's a new video out. Thanks for watching.